Hi friends, we will understand about string variables. These variables are frequently used in our Kinter applications. You must have seen on various applications using. Let's understand about this and why we should use this and what is the advantage of using string variables. This is a blank window and this template we will be using. Here is the code. First, let's see how we will declare a string variable. So, I am just saying, let's say L1 underscore str this is the name only equal to tk dot string var now there are three optional parameters or I can pass it but I am not doing that I am just declaring a string variable here so then I will what I will do now now I will create a label and try to put that connect the, the, the label to this string variable so l1 equal to tk dot label now where I am placing I am placing it in the my parent window at line number 2 you can see I have declared it so then slightly bigger font I am using font is equal to 22 ok now I will say text variable here I am connecting to my string variable ok so that's all this is there then next let me place it on a grid so first row equal it is the first element so row 0 column equal to 0 instead of flushing with the left edge let me give little pad x equal to let's say 10 and pad y from the top edge 20 so this is fine but I have nothing to display so no value is given let's just see how the blank window looks so the same blank window will come up right the first parameter we should use is which window it will be belong so by default it is for the parent window so what I am telling master equal to my underscore w but here there is no point because by default it takes the parent window so there is no point now let's say value value equal to now I will say what the initial value should be now let me just say plus 2 net now the third parameter is the name where I can optional also the internal parameters py underscore var1 var2 I can specify so let's focus on these two and other way also let's just run it and see now see this here the label the data because this is the l1 label and it holds the string variable so that's why this data is displayed say instead of the default value we'll set some values because we don't know one value we cannot set and uh, leave it because frequently based on our script outputs our variables will hold different different values so let's just say l1 dot str dot set sorry uh, yeah set i am saying welcome to plus 2 net fine now though I have declared an initial value subsequently I have set the new value to that same string variable so now let's just save this and run this you just see this is so, so set method is used to assign the data to a string variable to understand the get method we'll use one more example but understand you may ask the question then why we are using string variable the main importance is its trace method so let's just understand what is this trace method and how that can be used for that and what is the basic difference is we can track the events happening with the when it is connected to a wizard we can track the changes in the variable so every time the variable changes you can trigger a callback function that is the main advantage let's just understand one thing I am just creating one <coughs> let's change this name to e1 because it will connect will take a input one so now this one will remove this line so it is e1 instead of a label uh, okay this will go to a subsequently first we'll connect a uh, we'll create a entry one so e1 is a entry box so tk dot entry so, so some data will I'll ask the user to enter so my underscore w my parent window now here text variable equal to e1 underscore str I've just changed the variable name just because it is connected to e1 at entry box there is no point you can still keep it there also so bg equal to yellow I'm keeping a slight background yellow so it will be clearly visible now in slightly bigger font I will go font equal 28 so a higher size fonts so better visibility now next line let me put it on the grid so I will say e1 dot grid this this is uh, row equal to 0 and column equal to 1 sorry let it be 0 because it's the first one pad x 
is 10 and then pad y sorry here pad x equal to 10 pad y equal to let us give 20. So, that is all now to the right of this we will place this label. So, what you will we are going to do is text here instead of text variable I will say I will give a text number of cars used or what the purpose here I am doing trying to do is I am I want to display the number of characters user as enter. So, for that I am just giving and this label will be right of the first one. So, I am giving column 1. So, right of the entry box. So, entry is a column 0 now it has a column 1. Uh, rest of the things ok pad x no more required because already first wizard will take care of it. So, L 1 I have put it. Now, let us just uh, see here what is the font size font is 22 ok. So, let us see how this looks here it is plus two number of cars used because I have given already kept one default value for it here it is you can see that that value is coming, but we will remove that remove this default values is not required by default it is my underscore w and the initialization is not required because we will ask users to enter. So, let us come back here the most important part is e 1 what I am writing e 1 underscore str this is the string variable we what you are using it is using declared at line number 7 then we will go for trace method trace is this method it will take two parameters one is when this variable will be accessed means this will trigger when the three cases when the variable is uh, first read or w is written and then undefined or when you set it to null. So, we are most frequently most of the time we use w means when this variable is changed. So, in that case what will happen my upd my up means I am using a callback function that function will be called. So, this parameter note that three things will be taken r w and u when it is read when it is changed and when it is undefined. So, or set to null or anything. So, this now what I will do I will create a function now define now that callback function I am calling my upd what is my upd and it will let it take all the arguments I will just leave the all the arguments this function one line of code I will write it let me just give a pass let us just see what happens now nothing will happen the same one only will not get the default value. I will create a variable here give the name my data ok let me move up a bit here fine my data equal to now what I will do is first I will let me read the what the user has entered. So, for that I will say e 1 my string variable my str dot get this method will just read the data from uh, whatever the user enters and when you may note that because of this stress method whenever the user keeps on keying pressing any key whenever this variable changes this function will be called. So, every time my data will read the what the user had entered. So, reading data reading inputs what the user has input given fine what I will do next is I will just convert it to how many characters are there in that. So, let me just put it uh, my again my data equal to I am just using the same one now len len function will return the number of characters in that my data one more thing I will do ok let it be. So, my data will now hold the instead of the data it is the number of characters what I am using now one more step now what I will do l1 L1 is my label here declared at uh, by the side what it, where it is written number of cars used. So, that one I will change this text to this particular data what the number the data is there that I will hold it. So, for that L1 dot config now what I am configuring by using config I can various parameters I can change. So, I am changing the text part of it only what I will give I can give my data. But here is one issue what happens my data is a integer you may be know it is in 1, 2, 3, 4 like that and text has to be a string. So, for that I will convert it to using str function I will convert it to a string. So, read this first line get the data then I am writing length of the input cars whatever the length I am finding out and here I am updating my uh, 
label that uh, display the number of characters. Let's just save this and I am running this. Let's see what happens. Here I will say see what is happening. It is just reading the number of characters I am entering and that data it is displaying here. You can see here this entire every time I change this variable this method trace method is triggered and this trace method calls this function and inside this function I am first I am using get method to read the data what of the string variable and then finding out the length and then in fact I can uh, same thing let me just put it in one line I can just instead of writing three lines I can write one line also let me just come here I will say l1 dot config now I will say the same thing I am doing text equal to str now uh, inside that len inside that uh, what is that e1 dot str dot get you just see same thing uh, here up to this first get the man get the uh, what the user input then find out the length then convert it to a string and then assigned it to a config let's just see once how whether this also works or not should work sorry something I missed here plus str attribute str e1 oh sorry here I have let's just check it now fine so this is how we can this string variables we, we use frequently also so like even if I remove it also it will dynamically it recalculate and display me the characters that's all friends these are all the important uh, string variable because in many of the applications we are using it so we have already if you have seen our previous tutorials and videos all everywhere we have used the string variables and so you it is for your practice the entire source code is available and if you have any doubts suggestions questions then put it in the comment section we will accordingly will modify or uh, put the new new tutorials also i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we upload new new tutorials we frequently do that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching